All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom for the hat that we just made. Just something fun and extra. You don't, it's not necessary, but it's always fun. So I have my two strands of yarn right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take three fingers and I'm going to wrap this yarn around my fingers, okay? And you're just going to wrap maybe 20 or 25 times. So something like that. And it really depends on the thickness of your yarn, but that looks pretty good. It'll make a pretty thick pom-pom. You're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut it off. Right kind of where the top would be or something like that, so it's kind of in line. So you have that and you're going to just carefully take it off your finger so it doesn't lose too much of its shape. And just hold that for a second right there. You're going to take this same yarn and cut off just a little bit of, little strand of it so that you can use it to tie around your pom-pom. So maybe uh, just about that much. Not too much, but just enough. So you're going to use that strand and place your loops of yarn right in the middle. And take your two strands, put it up, and tie a knot. And you're just going to try to be as right in the middle as you can, but also be as tight as you can. So this is all that's going to be holding those teeny strips of yarn together once you've cut the loops. So you're going to just kind of take and get it as tight as you can and then do another knot. And that'll hopefully keep it as secure as you can. So now once you're in that spot, you're going to be taking your scissors again and you're going to be cutting each one of these loops. So I just try to go into the loops and cut them just like that. I'm all the way across and you'll miss some and you can just go back and find them and cut them. Now this, the pom-pom making is probably the messiest part of making a hat, but it's always fun. So just keep cutting those little loops all the way around and try to get as many, but even if you miss one, you can always cut it later. So got most of the loops, so oh, there's a few more. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty close. All right, so you're going to take your original strings, and I like to trim it before I put it on the hat. I don't know why, but that's what I do. So I take the strings, kind of hold them, hold the pom-pom in my hand just like this, but I, so I can kind of see what it would look like on the hat. You can see it's really out of shape. So we're just going to cut it a little bit, and normally I do this over a trash can or something, but we'll use this for today. And you're just going to cut it so that everything is pretty even. Sometimes you can make it a little bit crazier and have things sticking out where you want, but normally we just like to cut it into a good shape. I'm going to cut these top ones a little bit, make it more even. And even once you put it on the hat, if you see one that's sticking out too far, you can always go back and cut it. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, your next step is going to take the hat that you just made and put this away. And you're going to be using the needle again. You are, what I find easiest is taking each one of these, um, the two long strands, you're going to be putting it on your needle slide it through there just like we did before and they're a little bit shorter now so you know shorter end there and you're going to be putting them um, it on the top of the hat just on one side of the top and be use this hand to go underneath pull it all the way through and inside of here I'm just kind of pulling it and pulling it off so now we have that strand in there then you're going to be using the second strand and doing the exact same thing just kind of on the opposite side where you put the other one. So it's being a little bit tough, but I'm going to get it on here. All right, do the same exact thing. Find where you put it. Make sure you don't let the other side slip off while you do this and just put it through there. All right, and you're going to be going inside there again 
and here's my other strand and here comes my other one. So all I do now is you're not going to be using the needle anymore and you're just going to be tying the hat using the two together. Just do it a couple times and it'll be secure. Alright, and then you're going to be using your scissors one more time and cutting that off, those, both of those strands off. Alright, and now you put on a little pop bomb. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make a brim, which is always fun to do. So, um, this is, you know, a hat that I started a little while ago, and you have about uh, two and a half inches, three inches, something like that, that have come out. You've already taken off the outside peg, and if you want to make a brim, you can do so. What we're going to be doing is, what you've done on the hat is making these lines on the outside. If you can kind of see those lines, and they're all connected. But what you'll be doing, what makes this easier is, if you can take a peg like this one and follow it down, so that peg goes to this line, follow it down with your finger inside of here, follow it down, and then find the loop that goes to it. It might be on either side, but just find the loop that goes to it. And it'll be the last one, so it's basically your first, first um, line of thread that you put on there. And you're gonna take that loop and put it over. So basically what you're doing is making that second line again. So once you do that, you'll be doing that all the way around. So you're gonna keep putting that up and over, and you're just continually finding that next one. All right, find that next one. And it takes a little bit of time. Um, and brims in general take a little bit more time, but they are also very cute for the hats. So if you can find each of those lines, and hopefully you don't miss one, if you do, it's okay. You'll, um, you'll make it up, and you can always find an extra loop and put it over. It's not a big deal. So just keep finding those next loops, and all you're doing is putting the bottom, pulling it in and up, so that you kind of start, start anew. So you're putting that over, and you're making that second line it up and over. All right. Oh, and see, this is sometimes a common mistake. If this gets stuck in here and you put it over, then you'll have to undo all of these um, and catch it. So make sure that it comes to the right side, okay? So just keep putting those up and over. All right, so we're close to being done. So hopefully I found all of them. And there's this one. And make sure this is over here. And there's this last one. Okay, so now each of those pegs has a second strand from the bottom of your hat that you made. All right, now you're gonna take your hook and just like if we had looped on all of those, we're gonna take this bottom one, take it up and over. All right, take it up and over. And this sometimes can actually be a hard line just because there's not as much pull as you think there's going to be. So let's see if I can get this one over. Here you go. Just keep going up and over, just like you've done the entire time. All right, so I'm almost back to the beginning. And then I'll show you how to um, continue, which is just like what you've done. So now you're done, okay, and all you have left is one strand, so you're gonna push it down just like the third step. Push it down all the way around, and now you have your brim. And you're just gonna continue along just like you were doing. I'm gonna show you how to change colors. So like, let's say if you wanted to take this green strand and exchange it with this blue. Okay, so you're going to take this green one that you cut off and exchange it with this blue one, and all you're going to be doing is making a knot in the two. You're going to do just a simple knot, attaching them together. So I do one knot to make it secure, but then I do another one just to make sure that it doesn't come undone when I'm making the hat. So just make it sure that it's really tight. And you're going to be taking those two ends and cutting them off. And now, you have changed the color that you're making. So now, 
when you go around, you're going to have a stripe of blue in there. And if you want to go back to green or finish the hat um, with this blue in there, you've just now um, changed colors. This is pretty durable yarn, but sometimes you have yarn that breaks if you pull too hard, so be careful. If it does break, don't worry, you can fix it. Um, sometimes, like if it broke, you know, right about here, if I pull too tight, just simply, you know, relax, find your yarn. If it, you know, if you lost it through a couple of these loops, make sure you loop it back through, but you're just going to make sure you get as much pull as you can, and then you would attach more yarn onto it and keep going. So really you can overcome that um, obstacle if it comes your way. And I'm just going to go around once and show you something that um, is a common mistake that happens um, that I have seen. So once you've gone around and you have your two strands, people go around but they let go of this, but without realizing it, they've let it go. And they're going around, they're going around, and this starts slipping off like that, which can happen, it's happened to me before, but they keep going around, just going up and over, and they get to this last one, they do this one, and, well, now they're done. Now they don't have any more, so they say, okay, well, I'm going to push them down. Push them all down, like the third step. And, but now, this is attached in the wrong place. Well, if you didn't realize, it would look very funny, and you wouldn't know what you had done. So, all you need to do if your strand comes where you don't think it should, because it should be starting from over here, all you're going to do is just add those extra loops, put it around here, hold it tight, and finish up that row. And that's all you've done if you get to that mistake. And you just push them down and you continue on your way. And so if something like that happens, um, you can easily fix it. And other mistakes happen and have happened to me, and there's pretty easy solutions. This craft is very forgiving, so don't worry about making mistakes. You can normally fix them pretty easily.